Cordell and how you scored one of the uh, courtside seats to uh, escort him to the game? Uh, I actually, that was like pretty last minute. I got a call from some people higher up and asked me if I wanted to go to the game with them. And I was like, you know, sure. Uh, just let me know when. And I called Trey. I was like, yo, let's rock out. So just me and Trey pulled up with him. We had a good time, though, for sure. So did you recruit him? What was you doing? Did you tell him you need to sign here? Or how did that go? Um, it was just one of them things where it was just like, you know, once boys is boys, it, it didn't even have to come up. Obviously, we knew we wanted them, but really just wanted to make them feel at home. You know, I mean, um, you know, there's so much, so much you could say to a guy like that he already don't know. This ain't college. Like I ain't feeding him saying you're gonna get the best education. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I'm pretty sure he knows who he got here. Like, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure you know, he he know what he got here. So it's more just we wanted to make him feel at home, and the Dallas fans made him do that though by himself. So. Did, did he give you an indication when he would be ready to play? Uh, he told uh, he told me five weeks. He five. said five weeks. So I mean, and only a person uh, I believe, no trainer, no mm -hmm. doctor, no anybody in the league can tell a player how he feels. It's your body, um, you know, and that's just for anything. Whether any part of your body hurt, no one could tell you how you. are your body's gonna feel except for you. So um, if that's what he said, I always believe it. Or any other player, you know, if they push you to play, say no, my body hurts, uh, I can't go. And that's, you have to respect that. Do you get the impression he wants it to work out here? Uh, yeah, I get the impression. Uh, I think uh, he's hungry. He has family that lives here. I mean, his mom and dad and all of them's here, and uh, he got to meet up with them. So um, I definitely think this might be a homecoming for him. Micah, as one of the leaders of the team, how important is it now to refocus on what y'all have coming the rest of the season, regardless of whether or not he's here? Um, just keeping the main thing the main thing, and just keeping that humility, um, understanding the talent we have already here, um, whether we add or not, we've been doing great with or without OBJ is just another piece that can make this team way more explosive. But um, you know, we came in here, we all worked hard together. This was the team that's been together since April all the way through to now. And uh, that's where our focus needs to be. Everyone's in the locker room, and uh, that's where we should be heading. And, and that's who's going to be here on this playoff run. When you look at the defense, you, Trayvon, and DeMarcus get a lot of attention and things like that. What about the rest of the guys and what they've meant to the success of that? What you guys have been able to do this year? Yeah, I mean, we've, we've been going off the quote is uh, everybody's him. And, you know, um, when you got quarterbacks who don't want to go Trayvon's way, and that creates more opportunities for guys like Bland uh, to get those opportunities. That makes more opportunities for Kelvin Joseph or even, uh, you know, all those other guys. Or, or even with me over there and Law over there, and we might get double teamed or – we might get chipped or we might get sliding protection. I use a lot like, uh, you know, um, D.A., Doran Armstrong, who's made a big jump this year for him to dominate the way he has for us. Uh, you know, and, you know, even Dante, he's been stepping up in a great way. So uh, I'm going to use everybody a chance to create their own identity, and that's kind of what you want. I think everyone's been creating their own identity and um, creating their own path of how they want their career and success to be. What's Don Wilson like as a teammate? What do you respect about his game as he makes his presence felt his physicality? Uh, one thing I, I always told Jaguar, I mean, <laughs> Dono, because uh, he asked me for an animal name, and I told him he's a Jaguar because he fly around, he, he could jump, he, he, you know, he does everything. He goes in for sacks, he goes for picks. I mean, uh, he's not afraid to go into that deep water and get himself an alligator, you know what I'm saying? So. Uh, Dono, man, he's just a dog, and I respect him so much because, you know, he's one of the most quietest people, but he works so hard at what he do, and um, he's been nothing but a great teammate. Um, and, you know, he, his, his words ain't always, it's always his actions and how he's always hustling to the ball. He's not afraid to come meet a 250-pound running back or a 300-pound lineman. And it's just free smoke and throws body around, and, you know, he laughs it off later. So. Um, you just always condone people who work like the way he does. You know more about Jaguars than I do, but do they fly and eat alligators? Yeah, they. if you watch the video, it's some crazy.
Get out there, I'm telling you. <laughs> a jaguar, I'm telling you. It'll, it'll jump into a river and it'll grab an 18 foot gator and pull it out. Got one of the strongest bites in the world. And they'll pull it out. And it'll, it's, it's serious. It's some serious. I'll tell you, a jaguar is, might be my second favorite animal. I'm telling you. I, I ain't never seen nothing like that. After the line. Lions do not do that. I'm telling you, we're we're all land. So he got some water, you know. So he got the pass coverage. He's been getting some sacks. So he's he's getting the best of both worlds right now. So um, the jag is some serious. It's a serious predator. Thank you. What, 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 what color is that jaguar? It's all black. It's all black, and, and it got some spots. You just don't see them. <laughs>